Scorpios, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at what's going on with you in general. Of course, any information that you may be looking for, I will have listed in the description box if you want to book a personal reading with me, if you want to follow me on my other social medias and whatnot. And make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat whenever I upload. My videos are really informative, uh, transformative at that, and hopefully you learn something or you take something from this reading that helps you transform your life little by little. So let's see. But let's get into it. So first card we have that flipped was the moon card in reverse. So the subconscious, <laughs> the subconscious is starting to become conscious to you. There could be certain behavioral patterns or certain things that you're realizing about self where you're like, uh, well, I don't know why I keep entertaining this situation. or I don't know why I stop myself from putting myself out there career wise. I don't know why. And you're starting to realize what could be the source of you not maybe taking the conscious effort that you would like to and getting into the deep roots of what's going on within the subconscious. Also, if you've been extremely worried or anxious, there could be answers that finally come to you. This could be insight that you personally just have an aha moment or clarity comes to you via conversation or information you stumble across or something to that degree. Also, if someone has been keeping any secrets or hasn't been being all the way honest with you, it will come out. So for a lot of you, you could find that maybe what you thought was going on with someone wasn't actually that. It was something else. And hmm, for some of you, if you did assume that maybe someone wasn't interested in you or that, and this could even go beyond love. You may have made the assumption that you were were doomed in terms of your financial situation or doomed in the realm of love and finances. But once you start to get out of this energy of worrying and looking through the lenses of worry and looking at things from just the reality of it, you could start to see the challenges or the obstacles clear as day. But it's going to require you to be in this energy of taking consistent action to get to more of a balanced place, especially within your relationship. There's a need for consistent efforts to build trust. There's going to be a need for consistent efforts on your end in terms of career to keep showing up in your business, keep showing up in your career, even when things aren't necessarily 100% together. So yes, a lot of you are going to be beating your own anxiety. Also, if you've been having just mixed emotions about changes that you've been experiencing recently and also just having com confusion around what do you want for yourself as a whole? What will make you feel like inspired or like you're in this fresh new energy? This is a time where you're needing to challenge your curiosity in a sense where you allow yourself to explore the options that you have in mind and not being afraid to. This feels like conquering self-sabotage, <laughs> which is beautiful, especially with the Emperor and the Temperance card. There could be something that you're accomplishing during this time frame that shows you, oh, wow, I'm really in control. And all I had to do was be patient. This could be you starting a new chapter in like a new city or you getting a new place or getting a new job, but something new is going to start or something new that you take on and you actually find yourself enjoying could bring you back to life, essentially. What's going on in June for my Scorpios? There may be some sort of opportunity presented to you via some friends where you guys could go into business together or maybe go into living in living in the same home together or, or getting some type of property together. And you could be confused on whether or not this is a smart idea. Okay, make sure you're clear on what is expected of you in terms of like the, the money piece and also what's expected of the other people that you could be going into business, um, a living situation with, whatever this may be. There also may be some sort of job opportunity that you could get via a friend as well, or like someone who you're cool with. 
And this could change your financial situation for the better, actually. Okay. What's the energy around love for you? So there may be a choice you have to make here in regards to whether or not you're going to speak to someone again. There could be a potential opportunity for you to either fix an existing connection with someone you've already dated or you've been they're done that with and this person may have abandoned you or you may have walked away from this situation because you gave it time you you tried to wait to see if things would get better so there could be a potentially new situation in your life that you're gonna have to basically ask yourself do i want this newer situation or do i just want to kind of deal with what i got going on here already Hmm. A lot of you who are single, I see you choosing to just kind of focus on your finances and your responsibilities. Feeling like love may be just too much of a responsibility for you right now in the midst of you trying to build things up, in the midst of you trying to get a lot more stable. Okay. When it comes to... Oh, I'm seeing Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy for the possible zodiac signs. But I'm also seeing someone thinking about you a lot and or you thinking about someone a lot. And it could be this question around whether or not you guys will speak again. Now, with career and finance. Or no, excuse me, not career and finance with the advice for you. It's important that you're doing things intentionally during this time frame and not letting past tower moments or past moments of things not, you know, necessarily panning out the way that you would have hoped discourage you to a point to where emotionally you're dysregulated now and not seeing opportunities. So some of you have had a tower moment happen as of recently whether that's in love whether that's in career and it completely shook you up right this is an opportunity for you to grow an opportunity for you to learn and start fresh and your level of determination and your level of willpower to kind of get beyond this is going to be important this isn't the time to be getting in your feelings or question why that had to happen why is this happening to me not in a way where it's not allowing you to grow is important. But let's go ahead and pull from this deck. What are the final messages for my Scorpios they need to hear? So we have slow and steady. Let me go ahead and read this to you. So with slow and steady, just in general, this talks about taking your time, not rushing to get things done, not being in this impulsive energy as well. You want to be very mindful of just rushing to get things done and slow and steady actually gets things a lot more or gets things accomplished better and faster because the meticulousness in how you're you know maybe handling a business handling you know your responsibilities or in the midst of you building certain things up in the slow process is where the big changes happen anyways like we could even take weight loss, for example. It starts off real, real slow, but you start to see the gradual changes over time. And it's, it gets bigger and bigger in terms of the transformation. So it's a snowball effect. But anywho, it says, remember the old cliche, slow and steady wins the race. This is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life. Savor them. And we also have commitment. So this is a time where you need to fully commit yourself to your goals. Commit yourself to your purpose. Commit yourself to personal development, self-regulation. And when it comes to an existing romantic commitment you have in your life, this is a time where you need to commit to the journey of understanding your person and allowing them to understand you. Committing to the journey of accountability on your end and 
committing to someone who also has the desire to do the same. Understanding what you're committing yourself to is to as well. Are you just committing yourself to things, not knowing that it could commit you to your downfall and needing to just be mindful? But yes, this says partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your relation that your partnership, excuse me, with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. So this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and did give you insight. If you did enjoy, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will talk to you in the next one.